Just a few days ago, Reddit ads announced their newest feature, Ask Me Anything ads, and it's now available to all advertisers globally. If you're looking to boost awareness or get more people to attend your Ask Me Anything event, you can now promote it with an ad either before, during, or after the event goes live. So in this video, we'll show you how to create an Ask Me Anything post. And then of course, we'll show you how to create the campaign to boost awareness to it. This is probably the first Reddit ads video that we made where we're actually not starting in Reddit ads. We're just on Reddit and it's a pretty obvious reason. I cannot promote an Ask Me Anything post until I have an organic Ask Me Anything post created. So normally I would probably go and research the community that would be best suited for an Ask Me Anything. For the sake of this video, I purposely created a Paid Media Pros one. So make sure you've joined the community and then you can go up here where it says Create Post and in the menu option, there we see Ask Me Anything. Reddit, letting you know a few things that you'll need. So have your time set and a selfie from the guest. While it's not required, it's recommended. So for now, I'll just click continue. And first, you'll want to add your title. A very important thing about this title. Once this post goes live, you will not be able to edit or recreate the title when you're using it in an ad. It is locked. So make sure that you have a catchy title in 300 characters or less. It's going to capture people's attention and make them want to tune in to your AMA. Now, as I said that, if you've been watching the YouTube channel for a while, you know what Michelle and I do. We just pretty much paste something in there just so we can keep on moving. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to pretend like this is a good title. It's cheesy. Let's move on. The body, on the other hand, will have a portion where you can edit it later on once we get to the ad creation in the campaign setup. But again, I'm just going to paste something in there. I know it doesn't make sense to what the title is, but it's some text that's already ready in Michelle and I's next speaking event. So just pasting it in here. If you're adding any images to it, I'm not adding a selfie here. Sorry, not creating one. For any single image ad post, Reddit says you can upload any ratio, but the recommended ratio is a four to three. And just like the title, any initial image for an AMA post cannot be changed or edited in the ad creation section when we get there. So make sure you have the proper image that you know is going to look good. Okay, but now we can schedule it. Let's choose something later. Let's do a couple weeks. Start time. Notice my account was set up in central time. I am in central time, so that's what the date and start time will go to. And then I will post it within the community. And if we go and click on it, there it is. I could start it early if I want to, but no need to. In a separate tab, I have Reddit ads open. If you're new to it, it's ads.reddit.com. And then in this new tab, I'm going to create a new campaign. I'm going to name it first. And then we want to look at our campaign objectives. For boosting an AMA post, your only two options are brand awareness and reach or traffic. And looking at the preview off to the right, you're going to see the main difference. Brand awareness and reach, it's CPM bid focused on impressions, traffic, CPC bid focused on clicks. I want to get more people to click on it. So that's naturally what I would choose first. Then you just have to go through the regular campaign setup that you normally would. So I'm going to continue. Here we have our ad group. Who do you want to target? We already have several videos about Reddit. A lot of them all include campaign setups and ad group setups, different audience types, whatever. So in the upper right hand corner of this video right now is a link to the Reddit ads playlist. If you really want to dive into targeting options and all that stuff within Reddit. So choose your audience. There we go. Don't want audience expansion. Always uncheck that one. Always have to mention that. Your custom audiences, the ones that you've created yourself, customer list uploads, lookalikes, retargeting. You can also use those as exclusions. There's your demographics, location, gender, device type. You choose a placement only if you want to focus on one versus the other. It's going to default to both of these placements with this campaign objective. And you can exclude communities or subreddits and keywords. There's your budget. Here's our options for CPC bidding. And then we can continue and actually go to the ad. So I'm going to have to name this again, publish it under whatever. If you have several brands within the same umbrella, choose it. And when we get to the creative section, here's where you'll want to choose your post. Don't freak out because right now it's defaulted to promoted. So these are ones that we've already used in other ad demos before. We need to switch it over to organic. And there is our AMA post. So I will select this one, click use in a post, looking at the card. Notice that this is something I cannot change. I told you the title was locked in. I can't change anything here as well. I can only trash it and choose a different post. But we do get a headline 
that'll show up right up above. I would do something a lot better than that. And then it's up to you if you wanna allow comments to it. In this case, I actually would. This is our group. We have a tight knit community of one person since I just created it. So I'm not worried about spam or getting trashed. Here's how it would look in compact mode. And then from a conversation standpoint. So we do get some control. Tracking here doesn't really matter because we're sending them to the post within the community. It's not going off site. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We can go to review, confirm everything is good from all of your targeting, and then we could publish it. Now, because I mentioned the CTAs are dynamic, there's a few things that Reddit does besides the CTA to kind of customize the experience depending on when your AMA takes place. It's going to be pretty similar to what LinkedIn does with their live event ads. If you're curious about those, check out this video here. But I pulled these next three images from the announcement of boosted AMA posts from Reddit. Now look underneath the image, you'll see a remind me call to action. This is just one of the dynamic CTAs that could appear when you're advertising before the AMA actually starts. It's letting users know off to the left, it's coming up when, and then there is a RSVP count. You see the little people icons with the 1.8K. An RSVP count will not show up unless you have at least 11 or more users who have signed up to receive the alerts for the AMA. If it's more than 11, then you'll start to see the count. If not, it'll just be left off. Again, remind me is just one of the CTAs. Now, depending on how long you're running the boosted post campaign, you may have an ad campaign going on while the AMA is taking place. One extra step to try to push more people to attend the AMA. So now you see, again, below the actual post, the information has changed. It's letting you know that the event is live and when did the event start, but also giving users the option to join right now. And for whatever reason, if you want engagement after the AMA takes place, this is what the boosted AMA post could look like after the event is done. The call to action will be gone. There won't be any option, but a user can still click on the post to view the top answers. Again, very similar to what LinkedIn is doing with their live event ads. The message changes before, during, and after the event. And even afterwards, you get to review like top highlights and everything. So this is just another feature that Reddit has introduced to give brands another opportunity to promote themselves, promote a guest, and really encourage engagement within a dedicated community. That's the most important part. So if any of your clients or your brand himself use AMAs for organic promotion, boost up that attendance a little bit with a dedicated AMA ad campaign. If you have any other questions about AMA ads or just Reddit ads in general, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.